Hi everyone, Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au. So this is a video that we've kind of, a few of us have been arguing about whether we should do it or not. Um, the main reason is we're actually treading on the toes of the industry by doing this. Um, it's a, I wouldn't say it's a dark corner of the industry that we don't admit to or, or what, but um, it's something that none of us in the bullion or numismatic areas are particularly comfortable with is probably the best way to put it. So we see from time to time um, come through the store. Uh, we see them advertised all over the place, but you'll see collections of things um, being sold. Um, quite often they have um, a marketing spiel in them, like they will say uh, precious metal or they'll say um, gilted or uh, they'll make out like they're incredibly they're made of incredibly precious metals um, and quite often they're either a veneer or they're a sterling silver which is not bad in and of itself sterling silver is quite good but they're marketed they're a marketer's dream um, they're marketed to people who probably don't have a lot of knowledge of either precious metals or numismatics um, and they're I'm, I'm trying not to say they're taking advantage of people who don't know but at the end of the day that seems to be what occurs and this is one we had come into the store fairly recently where someone had been collecting it um, thinking that it was worth quite a lot um, it's marketed as a limited edition and all these types of things um, and look it is and if you're buying it for the pictures if you're buying it for the product itself like the, the the designs the history behind it what it's representing then that's fantastic and it's certainly worth the money if you get the pleasure out of that if you're buying it because you think it's a limited edition and it's you know this is a precious metal and it's going to go up hugely in value and the collectors are going to go nuts and all that sort of stuff you're going to be disappointed um, so what we're trying to do is educate people about being aware of what you're buying even within our store, we have to be very careful with that. We have um, people that come in and they just want a stack. And so to, to sell them some of the higher priced items, so in Australia, we're talking um, in a bullion sense, you know, um, the, the, the American Eagle. And if a lot of our regulars will have heard me rant about the, the American Eagle before, how within Australia, it's quite an expensive coin where I can, if I'm only looking for one ounce of silver, there are far better options even in the coins that I can buy at a far cheaper price because of the premium included. So we need to be careful when we're selling to people that we don't try and sell them the great American Eagle coin which you know at the moment it's 51, 52, 53 dollars Australian not US, Australian per ounce whereas I could sell you a one ounce kangaroo and it's going to be 41 dollars you know it'll be that 10 dollars cheaper or I could sell you a kilo bar which is going to be even cheaper because it's not a coin and it's a it's a larger number. So if you're just after the stacking side, that's where we need to guide you rather than looking at the higher premium stuff. This takes that to the next level where they're buying, and I dare say Connor will get us some, um, some B-roll of this, um, but where you're buying reproductions of, in this case, stamps, um, and they're not good for stacking. They're very, very, very high premium. Um, these are being sold or were being sold um, for anything upwards of about seven, eight, nine hundred pound when they were released, from what I can tell, and I, I can't actually find the original listing. There's one that quotes twelve hundred pound, and I'm not even sure that's true. And the whole set, the whole kit and caboodle, which this isn't, um, I don't know if even in the paperwork underneath, the whole kit and caboodle, if it actually, um, if it says exactly how many or how much it retailed for, but it's about half a kilo of actual silver. And even at today's prices, and obviously we've had a bit of a run up when this was being filmed, it's still only worth, um, I think all up, it's only worth somewhere around about $400 Australian in um, in physical metal terms. Obviously, it, you know, you could argue it's worth more because it's a limited edition, but I still think you're pushing uphill to get it to 1,200 pound. All right, so if we take one of these and just test it, um, you can see there, We'll get a shot of it and I'll show you the XRF in a second when it's finished its test. But this, this will test as, um, as sterling and there's no problem with sterling like I said earlier. Um, so long as you understand that you're buying sterling silver, you're not buying pure silver. 
um, or whatever. So you can see there it's tested through. I think at a brief glance it looked like it was 92.4. So near enough to 92 and a half. Um, you know, it's, um, it is what it is. Just be aware of what you're buying and that you're paying quite a lot of money for a sterling silver product. And if you like it, if it's an interest for you, fantastic. What I'm trying to get to with these is be very aware of what you're buying. If you're dealing, if, if you're wanting to stack, make sure you deal with a, with a bullion dealer, um, preferably one with a good reputation. And it's not hard to find them these days. Um, you go onto Google and you, and you look. And sure, there's always going to be um, people that leave a negative Google review, but you can usually get a good feel for people. You know, if there's 20 or 30 Google reviews on there, um, and there's one or two that are negative, you kind of go, well, you know, okay, someone was having a bad day. Um, or you ask around, it's, you know, a lot of the forums, um, Silver Stack has been one. If you ask on forums, pretty much no matter where you are in the world, you can say, look, I'm in, I'm in London, or I'm in, you know, Chicago, or I'm in Sydney, or I'm in Melbourne, or I'm in wherever, you know, is there a, can anyone recommend a bullion dealer? Usually you will get half a dozen recommendations of one or two bullion dealers pretty much within within a few hours. If you're into the numismatic side, I'm, I'm absolutely not saying that you don't buy these types of things. If you're a stamp collector and a bullion collector, you know, why not get this type of thing? So long as you understand what you're buying, I've got no issue with it. It's when these things get slid under the carpet and they use fancy names that I get pretty angry about it actually at the end of the day because people bring them into us thinking that they've got the family heirloom and we offer them you know cents on the dollar and they're pretty disgusted so um, yeah this is just a video warning you make sure you're aware of what you're buying who you're buying it from I strongly suggest if you're buying it through some form of mail order whether that be physically mail order in the mail or a, um, a, a um, email that you've received those sorts of things Check them out thoroughly first, make sure you know what you're buying. Um, phone some of the coin dealers or some of the bullion dealers around you and just say, look, have you heard of these? What do you think? And usually they'll give you a pretty straight out answer. That's it for now. From me, um, like I said, it's a bit of a warning. Um, leave any comments or questions you've got below and we will try and get back to them. If you know of some of the ones you want to highlight, if you want to ask questions on them, absolutely. Um, just comment below and we'll, we'll comment where we can. We'll talk again soon. See ya.